N, which is which stands for student and garden. Um, we'll tell you about it a bit more. So this is our table of content. It's not interesting for us. Let's get straight to the point. So let's start with the welcome code. So um, you sometimes might need a policeman. You sometimes might need a lawyer or a doctor. But every day you might need a farmer at least three times because without it, you can't survive. Um, so let's start with what kind of problems we are facing in our contemporary society. Uh, the first one is, of course, educational gap. Um, because, you know, we know that a lot of people don't get the access to quality education, and this is one of our goals to change. And, uh, for example, our financial... Uh, also financial barriers, um, such as, for example, problems of affordability, um, and yes, that's it. Um, also sustainability concerns, of course, because a lot of people mm, are not sustainable enough and we would like to change it and educate people on how to do it. Um, so our main vision and mission is to educate educational enrichment community engagement and impact, socio-economic accessibility, uh, accessibility and long-term sustainability. Um, so we have chosen Sweden to do it. And why Sweden? Because it's a pretty developed country and also such econo um, ecological projects are very popular there and a lot of people would gladly engage with that. And also their education system supports such innovative solutions and also the government. So maybe you would like to seek for the opportunity in looking among the NGOs or the government itself or the educational facilities to cooperate with us. So the market. Sweden has a lot of potential. There is a growing demand for ecotourism. There are opportunities for partnerships and expansion in other countries later if it works. And who will buy us? So basically we have to, we are planning to find partners such as um, for example, school canteens, we might sell the products for them and they might distribute it, as well as uh, online shops and then later also we, we hope for maybe more local uh, grocery stores where they sell food. So there are plans as it is visible and because we don't have too much time we can just take a look at it and we can go further. Um, let's try to see uh, how we are going to sell the products. So um, the school canteen, as I mentioned before, uh, also, maybe we could try to seek for the support from the government, mm, get some grants and maybe also spread some educational um, in in initiatives and also maybe some donations from some uh, enthusiasts of sustainable agriculture. So, um, this is our plan of our, how our revenue might look like, it's not that important. But okay, let's maybe try to describe how the product will look like. So this is like some kind of a garden where people might come, especially we want to include also people who have some disabilities or also people who are excluded because of poverty. We'd like to give them opportunity to work and to grow our sustainable vegetables. And um, how to say? By that, we hope that first of all, we will include more people into the market, but also that we will spread our ideas of ecological food instead of processed, packaged food in the supermarkets. We would like to in invite people to buy more local food and to basically eat more healthily and also to include other people in the society. And um, we need around 100,000 euro to start it. Um, but this investment is expected to start bringing profits pretty soon. So it is a good in in incentive. And also we offer 15% of shares of our company. So please invest in us. Um, so our dreams is to involve the world in the eco-responsibility. We want to also include the diversity. We would like to optimize the green spaces because a lot of places are just unused and we could use them in order to grow plants and we hope that if it's successful in one place, we can spread it all around the world, basically. And, well, um, let's stick together and let's respect our planet and let's respect other people as well and let's give them a chance to 
maybe develop in the future. So um, thank you so much.